Bukhar and his wife, Falmata, waited two long years for the moment they could finally see their daughter again. We're so happy our daughter's coming back. We are overjoyed. God is great. We are so happy. Their daughter, Yabawa, had fled to neighboring Niger and was taken in by another family. Now she's been flown back to Nigeria. She was 12 years old when Boko Haram attacked her village of Yawulari. That's when her family last saw her. Don't cry, she says. <laughs> the years of uncertainty were difficult for her father to bear, and he blamed himself for losing one of his children. I don't know what to say. I'm just so glad. Today, Falmata and Bukhar are living as refugees in Maiduguri, the regional capital. It's still not safe in their village where they lived and worked the land. They remember the day their lives changed two years ago. <laughs> when we were attacked by Boko Haram, everyone fled, the soldiers too. I thought we would die. At that moment, I wasn't even able to think about whether we'd lost anyone in the family. At some point, we noticed we'd lost track of our daughter. But we couldn't notify anyone. Everyone was gone. Later, we met up with members of the citizens' militia and begged them to look for her. But they couldn't help. No one in the family owned a cell phone. Yabawa remained among the missing. Then, the International Red Cross stepped in. So far, we're talking about uh, almost 4,000 cases open. The needs are big, really, really big. Unfortunately, the country is big, and uh, we do as we can. So the more we, uh, we register cases, the more we have chances to, ha to have matches. It will take some time for Yabawa and her family to work through everything that's happened. But they're holding on to hopes that they can one day return to their village. <laughs>